Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome here at Mad About Skin. We're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now guys, in today's video, I thought I'd drawn a line under this series. You guys might have watched some of my um, Best at the Drugstore series. That's where I took each step in the skincare routine and recommended my five best products within that step available at drugstore prices. You guys went mad for that series. Like honestly, it the views were through the roof, which is absolutely fantastic. And I thought I'd finished. I was really sad when it ended because I thought, well, I really enjoyed creating it, researching it, testing all the products out. You guys loved it. The feedback was great. And then it ended. I thought, Ugh. but I realized, thanks to your guys' feedback, I missed out a step the reason I missed it out is it's not a step that I ever have in my skincare routine, and so I kind of forgot about it. But you guys have been crying out for some drugstore affordable facial oils. Now, I haven't got any that I've tried loads in my time, and I've got friends and family that recommend me all sorts of different facial oils. I am super greasy, I'm acneic, I'm breakout prone. I don't really feel the need for a facial oil in my routine. Doesn't mean they're not fantastic, and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be getting them at drugstore prices. So I've pulled together my five best drugstore facial oils. I'm gonna break it down so you've got a recommendation by each skin type. There's some great ones in here. There's some fantastic price points, and hopefully you love this video as much as you loved all the other ones. Leave me a comment to let me know if I've missed out on any facial oils that you guys love, and let's get into it. So facial oil is always the final step in your skincare routine. It doesn't matter what you do, it is always gonna be the final step. So that covers off like the first question that people always ask. And it is a way of just nourishing, nourishing the skin, giving extra hydration, locking in all of that work that you've done on your skincare. I would probably forgo the moisturizer and use this as your moisturizer. Some people like to layer it on top of moisturizers, but I think it's really difficult to layer an oil on top of an occlusive moisturizer. It doesn't sit well, it doesn't sink into the skin, and you lose some of the potency and the benefits because it's not in contact with the skin. So I personally would ditch the moisturizer on the days that you're using a facial oil. You can use them morning, you can use them in the evening. It's personally, it's personal preference and up to you. I would be super careful with facial oils if you are acneic, even if you're combination, oily, a lot of them are comedogenic. A lot of them are very, very packed full of fragrance and um, colorant. So just make sure if you're sensitive as well, just make sure you're really, I think this actually comes down to why I don't use facial oils. I think it's a bit of a minefield and you've got to pick the right ones. Fortunately for you, I've done my research and I've got you some five, five fantastic recommendations at the drugstore. So let's just get straight into it. So facial oils, mainly about hydration. So what happens if you've got super dry skin? Well, I think if you've got super dry skin, this is where a facial oil really comes into its own and where you can really see the benefit. The Ordinary do a fantastic range of cold pressed um, oils. Now, cold pressed is fantastic because it's non-heat treated, which means it hasn't lost some of the potency, some of the benefits, it hasn't broken down some of the lipids that are within that oil. So you're getting the maximum potency. I'm gonna leave you an image there because there's a range of different oils that you might want to try within the ordinary range. I'm gonna leave that up to you because they all hydrate, they're all fantastic and they're all gorgeous. They're all roughly the same eight pound price point. So it's really up to you, but I'll leave you an image there. Check them out because if you're dr super dry skin, that is where a facial oil could come into its own. Do your full routine and then slather this gorgeous oil. All of it is unfragranced and all of it is um, colorant free, which is absolutely fantastic. And will just really just drench your skin in hydration, which is what you need if you're super dry. Now, if you're the opposite and you're like me, what happens if you're an oil slick? You only have to step out of the house on a warm day and your makeup sweated off, you're a mess. People think, oh, facial oil, it's, an, it's just a big no. That is generally how I treat it, but there is one and I've hunted it down. I've ordered it and I will be trying it for myself. I know a couple of people who have tried it and raved about it. The ingredients are fantastic and the reviews online are fantastic, which is why I'm including it, but I haven't tried it myself. I can't wait to. And that is the CeraVe. Of course it's CeraVe. I mean, when it comes to oily skin, CeraVe is just up there, game changing. I love their brand. CeraVe, I've um, got my notes, skin renewing gel. Right, what makes this different? So it's non-comedogenic. That is essential if you have um, oily, acneic, broke out prone, breakout prone or clogged skin. It's full of peptides, which is fantastic because it's gonna help restore the moisture level in your skin. Often we're oily because we stripped all the oils out and our body's natural reaction is to create sebum to then 
replenish those oils that you've stripped out because your body believes there's a certain oil level it needs to reach which is too high as it turns out but you strip it back down and then it replenishes it by creating sebum to replenish what you've taken out if that makes sense so this is a fantastic non-comedogenic way of getting that oil and that hydration back in the skin giving the body what it thinks it needs without clogging the pores without creating the acne the breakouts Gorgeous, gorgeous product. It's a gel consistency, so you're getting the oil delivered in a gel consistency, which I think is great because there's a psychological barrier. If you, you if if you're like me and you've had acne, you've had oily skin, there is a psychological barrier to using an oil product on your skin. It doesn't matter who tells you, what top dermatologist tells you. It's non-comedogenic. It's great. The idea of slathering oil on your skin makes you feel physically nauseous. <laughs> if you're like me, this is gel. So this is perfect if you have oily skin and I would highly recommend it. Hopefully you don't get there before I do because I really want to try this out and be the first to review it. But it is gorgeous and everything CeraVe do I think is fantastic and I have such faith in that brand. And I think when you've got faith and loyalty in a brand, it's fantastic because it's just rewarding the hard work that they put in creating a full range of gorgeous, gorgeous product. So what happens if you want a treatment? You've dry skin, we've covered dry skin, we've covered oily skin. What happens if you want a treatment? So maybe you're just normal skin, you've maybe a bit combination, but you want a treatment. You want your facial oil to actually be doing something for you. Well, there's a fantastic $9, so around eight, seven or eight pounds um, facial oil out there for you, which includes retinol. So you could actually swap out your retinol add in this product and you're not increasing the number of steps in your skincare routine, but you're getting the added hydration. I love, love the idea of putting retinol in an oil formulation for dry skin because often drier skin people, even combination skin people think, I can't use retinol because it's just gonna dry me out further. The oil will counteract some of that dryness, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Oil. I love this product. I tried it. It wasn't right for me because it was just a bit too hydrating for my oily skin. So I actually gifted it away. I say gift it. It's like seven pounds. It's not really a good gift. But I gave it to a friend who has dry skin and who wanted to get into retinol. And she has probably bought 10 bottles of this since. Loves it. Raves about it. It delivers a, a reasonably weak retinol. It's not up there in strength. It hasn't got the strength on it. But I can tell from the formulation it's not going to be a strong retinol. But it still gets the benefit of retinol. And it's not going to create any of the dryness, the irritation or the peeling because you've got that hydration, that supercharged hydration in the oil form. Gorgeous product. Honestly, would recommend it. It's packed full of extracts of shea butter. So it has that shea buttery sort of smell to it, which I like, but I find it a little bit overpowering for me. So just bear that in mind. But a gorgeous product and under $10. I mean, and it includes the retinol. So you're getting two for one, you get the hydration, you get the treatment and it's under $10. I love that product, absolutely fantastic. Now, similar to a treatment, but in an SPF. So what happens if you want to use your facial oil on a morning? A lot of people say, where does your SPF sit? You put your facial oil on, then your SPF, or do you put your SPF on and then your facial oil? It's really difficult to work out because it depends on the SPF and the oil you're using and how they interact together because you don't want the oil to break down the SPF, which is likely to do, which is why I would usually say put it on and then put your SPF on afterwards. But I find facial oils very difficult to incorporate with an SPF on the morning, which is why for me it's normally an evening treat if I was to use a facial oil. However, combine an SPF and a facial oil. Jobs are good. If the, um, I think the L'Oreal, let me get the words right, I've got my list. L'Oreal Paris Hydra Nutrition SPF 30. Gorgeous. Mouthful, but gorgeous. It's a, it's a uh, factor 30, some factor protection 30 in an oil formulation it's going to hydrate it's going to protect your skin from the sun it goes in and leaves very little on the skin i used this as my go-to spf when i was on holiday last year and i loved it it did break me out a little bit so i'd be very careful if you were on the oilier side not terribly and some of that could have been the sweat from the heat which does tend to break me out anyway but i wasn't sold on it for oily skin but for everyone else this is gorgeous sinks in barely a trace on the skin now as with all spfs there's going to be some element of a trace but i would have thought this would be totally greasy totally oily but it's such a dry oil it nourishes it hydrates it protects but it just leaves very faintest film on the skin, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And it's no worse a film than you would get from a normal chemical SPF. I really love this. Smells gorgeous. It has got fragrance in. So for sensitive skin people, you might this might not be for you. It has got a light fragrance in, but it smells gorgeous. It sinks in beautifully and it is just a fantastic product. Here in the UK, it is £10. It's $12 in the US. I mean, for an SPF and a facial oil, $12. I... I 
mind blown fantastic gorgeous formulation l'oreal are fantastic when it comes to um facial oils facial oil cleansers just their ranges are fantastic and this i think is probably their standout product so love this finally now i said this was a drugstore video i usually cheat in these drugstore videos this product is available at the drugstore, but I don't think it really comes under drugstore prices. I'm including it because it is so beautiful and it is so lovely. And if my skin wasn't just hellishly oily all the time, this would be my go-to facial oil because it's gorgeous. Now, there's going to be a pronunciation problem here because it's French pharmacy, pharmacy brand Vichy, which is a gorgeous brand, really, really high-end quality skincare, particularly targeting the sensitive skin, which is really good. But it's a mouthful to pronounce. So this is the Vichy Neo Vadiol Elixir Oil. There you go. Got it out. I'm going to leave an image there because if you want to type and Google it, you'll need the words <laughs> because you probably won't get it from my pronunciation. This is beautiful. It is filled with lipids and peptides. It's also got Vichy spring waters in there, which is packed full of selenium. So this is a sensitive skinned person's dream product. Unfortunately, it's $55. If you say that quickly, it kind of doesn't seem as much 40 pounds it's a lot of money but it will last a long time because you need such a small amount you probably get three months worth of you um, in each bottle of this it is gorgeous the lipids the peptides the selenium it's going to repair the moisture barrier in the skin it's going to protect the acid mantle and it's going to calm the selenium is going to calm soothe and take down any redness this if you are dry and sensitive this could be your holy grail product if you haven't tried it already I would love to be able to use this every day. It is that gorgeous. It's just not appropriate for my skin type. My mum suffers from rosacea, gave it to her, loved it. Absolutely loved it. She said it wasn't too clogging, it didn't leave a film, it nourished, it treated, it calmed. Absolutely gorgeous. Does go funny consistency if you put it in the fridge. She tried that for the cooling, didn't work. So avoid that. <laughs> but an absolutely gorgeous product. Now, do I think you need to spend £40 on a facial oil? No. But... If you did want a treatment and you're sensitive skinned and you think I really want a good facial oil that goes with my sensitive skin and will help to repair and treat it, this is the one for you. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, guys, let me know. Do you? I'm really intrigued to know this. Do you use a facial oil? Have you tried a facial oil? I think the reason people stay away from them is they have no idea where to put it in the skincare routine. They have no idea whether to use an SPF with it, use a moisturizer with it. Can you use it if you've got oily skin? It's a minefield. So hopefully this has cleared up some of that. I'd love to know. What are your go-to facial oils? Do you use them? Are you going to try any of these out? Or is it just, do you just think it's a gimmick and it's not worth the money? I'd love to know. So leave me a comment below. Obviously give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I think this is probably the end of the drugstore series, which makes me very sad. Uh, I'll probably find another thing to do another video on, but because I'm a little bit in love with this series. But guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series and for sticking with us as a channel. It means the world to me. Love you all, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.